In this tip of the week, we will look at how to restrict the downloading of files in your My Classes course when they are linked to through the Rich Content Editor. Wherever the editor is found, such as pages, discussions, and assignments, you can link to a file that you want students to have access to. To do so, go to the feature you want to use. In this example, we'll use Pages. And choose to create or edit a page. Add content to the editor as needed. When you are ready to add a file, you can do so by either adding a direct link at the point where your cursor is positioned, or you can highlight text where you want to create a direct link. Click on the Files tab in the Content Selector. You have the option to link to existing course files or upload a new one. Once your file has been selected or uploaded, you can see your link in the editor. If I press Save and preview this page right now, you will see two icons appear next to each link, the preview icon and the pop-out icon. When the pop-out icon is clicked, the file is automatically downloaded. If you would like to prevent students from downloading a file, such as for copyright limitations, you can manually disable this download option. To do so, you will need to be in edit mode but this time, you will not make changes in the Rich Content Editor. Instead, you will want to switch your editing view by clicking on the HTML Editor link. This allows you to manually change the HTML code to remove the download option. First, you will need to find the code for the link to the file. It will look something like this. Remove the word download from the link by highlighting and deleting it. Then replace the text in structure underscore file underscore link in the class area with the text script underscore file underscore preview underscore link. Then click save. I only made the change to one of the files. When you preview the page after making these changes, you will see that one file only has the preview icon and does not have the pop-out icon. You can make this change to any of the files that you want to remove the download option from. You will also want to make sure that your course files are hidden from student view so that they cannot download the file directly from your course files folder. To hide the files area, go to settings and click on the navigation tab. Disable the files option and save your navigation changes. When you add a file to a module, you do not have the HTML editor option. In fact, the purpose of adding the file to the module is for the student to download it. If you would like to add a file to a module that you do not want students to be able to download, you may want to consider using an outside file management service such as Google Drive. If you use Google Drive, you can add the URL link for the file to the module but you can control the download options for that file through the Google Docs file settings. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following resources.